brothers and sisters, is called self-esteem. Self-esteem. Self-esteem is your opinion of yourself. What do you think of yourself? The way you think of yourself is how you have decided, where you have decided to put yourself, where your ranking is. And I want to give you a little hint from the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu how to be so you can lift your self-esteem. Every one of you has been chosen to be born into this world. Allah is the one who decided and chose you. And He honored you. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We have honored the children of Adam. So you are already special and you are already important. But what you think of yourself makes the world of a difference. And here is a little advice. When you meet people, you put people on a certain pedestal, either up or you put them lower. This is natural. We look at people in different... The majority, the modern person today, bases the esteem of another person and their status on materialistic things. What car they drive, what job they have, what position in the job, how much money they have, whether they're popular or famous or not, whether they look good on the outside, whether they've got more views on social media and likes, all these things. The materialistic, superficial things the modern person looks at. And I'll give you one example. You all know in Big W, they had a terrible children's book. I don't know if you heard about it. A children's book which talks too much inappropriate adult material with pictures and everything. Recommended for children between 7 and 10, I think, or 10 years old. Wallahi, if you looked at it, you'll say, where is the, khalas, the last hour is coming. Because of the amount of people that protested against it, they took it off the shelf. Why? Because it's going to hurt the pocket, the business, the industry. We live in a world where materialism is big. All right. A Muslim is taught another way. Your self-esteem is not based on outside appearances or materialistic things. You, when you amplify a person in front of you, you make them big. Then you automatically reduce yourself. And when you amplify yourself, then you reduce others. And both of them are toxic. Both of them will kill you. One of them is kibir and arrogance. And it will destroy you. And the other one is putting yourself down and not giving yourself the importance it needs. What is the answer? Rasul said, An tunzilu nasa manazilahum. To put everyone in their place, meaning consider them where they belong. And where does everyone belong? What am I? What are you? We are humans. That director of that company is a human, that boss of yours is a human. That husband and wife is a human. Your parents are human. Your children are human. Your friends who've got this or that is a human. The person who's driving that expensive car has a lot of that money is a human. At the end of the day, we're all humans. Number two, we have all been created by Allah for the same purpose. We are all in the same exam. If they've got one skill, you have another. Maybe that person who, is, who looks like is above you has problems with their family. You might have a good relationship with your family. Embrace that, alhamdulillah. That person may have some health problems. Alhamdulillah, you got good health. That person may have, doesn't have a hobby outside of what they have or other skills which they enjoy. Maybe you have a hobby and things that you enjoy and skills. Everybody, Allah has given them favors. So don't amplify yourself and don't reduce yourself by amplifying them. Think of them as humans. Yes, we respect certain people and give them more attention than others if they are beneficial and if they deserve it, such as scholars and imams or someone who is truly beneficial to others and has earned that privilege, you give them that respect. But never think that they are better than you or that you are better than them. Uh, they can rise and fall. You can rise and fall. And don't be arrogant so to say, oh, who, who are they? This is the thing. Sometimes I hear young people, they go too far. They say, who are they? Who are you, bro? You're nothing. That's called arrogance. Remember what we said, don't amplify yourself by reducing others and don't reduce yourself by amplifying others. Be balanced. And that's why Allah says, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا 
And this is how we have made you a balanced ummah. Not too much, not too little. Be balanced. That's what...